What's up? I'm gonna go ahead and do a review on this Carhartt front pocket wallet that I picked up uh, about a week and a half ago. So I've been carrying it as my EDC wallet. And I was looking to pick up another wallet, just something different, because I've had this Levi's old leather wallet for many, many years. And it's just starting to get worn down. So I wanted to pick something else up. And I was on Amazon.com and I saw this wallet. And I, I tried to look on YouTube for some reviews or maybe see if someone had done a video showing the size of it. And I really couldn't find anything at all. So anyways, I just thought it'd be good to get this video out for anyone that might be looking for um, some comparisons on the size of this wallet and what my overall opinion is of it. Um, this is basically a front pocket wallet, so they call it. Although I find it to be a little bit big as a front pocket wallet. It's a, a dual fold folding wallet. And you look at this tri-fold wallet up here. And you see that it's basically the same size. So um, it's not really any smaller than your typical... Um, your standard wallet that people would put in their back pocket so I don't know if you would want to call this a front pocket wallet but that is what they call it um, this is a full grain leather for the most part as far as the materials there is some canvas in it but it's a ra relatively thin wallet I'd say it's uh, about medium thickness compared to your normal wallet here's this trifold wallet of course it's empty right now and it's been compacted for so long but you can kinda see the the depth comparison and just for one more comparison here's my my cell phone Samsung Galaxy S3 you can kinda see the thickness of the wallet and this is the Galaxy S3 with the case so um, it's relatively thin it's a thin wallet I do have some cards and some cash in here um, but anyways I bought it because I thought it was relatively thin and I wanted to try something different now this is a Carhartt wallet, so you can see the logo is kind of um, heat branded into there. It's not painted or anything, it's actually burned into there, which is kind of a cool effect it has to it. really like the color, it's um, kind of like a, well, like a rawhide type color. Just got a classy feel to it, something different from my general black wallet. It does have this elastic band that keeps the wallet closed. I found this that I found to notice that this can be somewhat annoying when you first get it if your your old wallet didn't have that because when you're pulling it out of your pocket and you want to open it up you always got to open that to get your wallet open and then when you're done you have to put it back on to close your wallet but I do like the the effect of having it just because it keeps the wallet closed so after using it for a while I, I do like it overall. Um, it does have an ID window on the exterior of the wallet. I don't have my ID in here, obviously, because I don't want to give you guys all that information, but I put a little REI gift card in here I have. And some of the reviews that I was reading was saying that the ID doesn't stay in very well. I haven't found that issue. As you can see, this one's not, it's not coming out. And this is actually a thinner card than a standard driver's license. So you look right here. I'm kind of pressing it. If you press hard, it'll come out. But if you just move around without a lot of pressure, it doesn't come out. What I found that helps with this wallet is if you're putting your card in, let's say if you put it directly in the middle like that, it doesn't hold very well. But if you put it down to the bottom of the holder like that, all the way down to the bottom, and then you slide it in, I found that it holds a lot better and it just doesn't come out, it doesn't move around, nothing. Same thing for the top. If you take it out and put it all the way to the top like that and then you press it up a little bit and then put it in, there's no way that card is coming out, moving around, you're not going to have any issues. So that's just a real quick fix. Um, if you have it in the middle, it is going to be a little bit loose. And If you're afraid of it coming out, don't use it or put it all the way down to the bottom or the top. As far as the inside of the wallet, it has basically six card holders on the front. You got three slots on each side. And I found them to be pretty roomy. The ones on the top right here, this this pocket right here, they're not as um they're not as uh as roomy as the front ones. I found these front ones to be a little bit looser when you put a card in. And um, I don't have all my cards in here because I don't want to I don't want to have all of them in on the video. But um, I, I found that each each pocket will hold a standard credit card or debit card just fine. It's just it's going to be a little stiffer on the top ones 
as opposed to the very front ones. There is also an inside pocket on each side and this is lined with canvas in there. Um, there's also one on this side as well and that is lined as, as canvas and it gives you enough room to put an extra card in there, debit card, credit card, or uh, maybe a medical card, whatever you want. Stash, a guitar pick, some cash. Um, pretty decent size. They're basically the same size, actually a little bigger than your standard um, debit card or credit card. Um, has plenty of room to keep your cash. I've got just a little bit of cash in there, but you can see the space left over from the cash on that side when it's on this side. And um, one thing I was worried about is this, this strap right here. I was worried that it would kind of get in the way of pulling the money out, but it really doesn't. If I have the cash all the way to the side, all the way to that side right there, you can see how much space there is to take it out. Um, so really haven't had any problems. I like the design of it. The inside here is lined with canvas also. So the, the main material of the wallet is leather, but the it's lined with canvas basically. So it um, has a really good quality feel to it. I like the stitching on it. Um, if you look at the stitching, I don't see any mistakes. I don't see any stitch at all that's messed up or coming undone. Just perfect craftsmanship in my opinion. And that's what I would expect from Carhartt. Carhartt's a great brand. Um, I wouldn't expect any different as far as that goes. So anyways, it's just a real quick video. Um, I do like the wallet. I'm going to keep using it. Yeah, I definitely like it better than my, my old trifold wallet here. Um, again, just I just want to get this video up for anyone that's looking to buy this wallet and they want to see some, some good size comparison, um, either pictures or, or a review on it because I couldn't find one when I was buying it. So anyways, if you're looking for a new wallet and you don't want to spend too much, you want something like this that has um, a, uh, just a regular folding wallet, not a trifold, just a bifold, and you're interested maybe in the Carhartt brand or a wallet like this, I definitely recommend it. One more thing I wanted to add is this wallet comes with this really, really nice Carhartt tin. Um, you can look at the display here, but it's just a gorgeous looking tin with the Carhartt logo right here and it's got um, it says Carhartt overalls it's got a picture of the work overalls and just um, just the history of the company it's a really well done tin it's it's really kind of like an art piece um, I can see someone that that really loves Carhartt would really enjoy having this this tin but it comes with your wallet comes with this I'll open it up show you what it looks like inside the wallet sits right in there when you open it up and you first get it but um, just a really high quality tin. Definitely think it's uh, worth the money. I just looked at the price and it, they're around 20 bucks on Amazon.com. So it is a little bit of an expensive wallet. A um, little bit on the higher price side. If they didn't include the tin, they might be able to put it down to around 10 to $12. I don't really know. But I do think it's worth the extra money. This is a really cool tin. Um, and I love Carhartt. So anyways, that's the end of the video. Thanks again for watching and I'll talk to you later.